Look in the mirror, scream self love. Look in the mirror, scream self love. Self love, kill your demons. Self love, heal your heart. Self love, give you confidence. The confidence that you need, huh? It kill you all your insecurities, huh? Self love. When we could go to any place and go and, and do business any place, that began the demise of the African American business district. So it was a price of the worst. NPC and church do anything to bring my day dash back to earth. I never wrote a verse. They put them in that hearse. I've been dead since since 24. I've been cursed. Now, did y'all hear what he said? Oh, my bad. Was the music too loud? My bad. Okay, so basically what he was saying was, did you hear the last part? We said the demise of the Black Wall, I mean, uh, Deep Deuce. Did anyone hear him say that? Okay, so what he was talking about was when they desegregated everything. You see, back in these days, you know, you're talking about 7,000 to 10,000 people staying in one specific area. Because of that, the people wanted to move out. So when things became open, when black people can go where white people were at, so on and so forth, they left the deep deuce area, thus taking that money out of the community. So that's kind of why the area began to decline because no one lived there anymore and no one spent money there anymore. So that's kind of what threw it off. But, oops, I'm going to do that again. So um, in my book, Slave Minds, um, what happened to the people was they were um, victims of what I call mental programming. And um, after the segregation, like I was saying, um, it demolished uh, black people. They, they began to move all over Oklahoma City. And when they moved all over Oklahoma City, they left Deep Deuce, and Deep Deuce just went to nothing. So, um, but like the man said, it was a sacrifice. But like, I, you know, again, black people left the black community. So, black people are leaving the black community. How is that? You know, we got we want to build the black community. Um, but anyway, uh, mental programming. Back, um, is it, do it? Does anybody know about marketing? Anybody know about marketing? Okay, good. So we're going to talk about emotional marketing. Now, in these days, I, and I'll say, I forget the term. I forget what time of the, of the uh, like 1950s, 60s, uh, keeping up with the Joneses was a term that people would use. To me, this is a, also a form of uh, emotional marketing. They have houses. They show you pictures of things that look better. When you get there, it's essentially a copy and paste house. This house is like that house, and that house is like that house, so on and so forth. You see what I'm saying? So that's the emotional marketing that goes into this that swayed blacks to move from the black communities. And this isn't in just Oklahoma City. This is essentially all over the country. To get people to move to sell real estate, they say, OK, look, segregation is over. Come get these nice houses. Now you can come live in these areas. So it was a different way to market. And I, I wouldn't say manipulate, but to tap into the emotion of wanting to have more for yourself, the emotion of uh, wanting to have a better life. So you know, just be careful when people are marketing this stuff to you. Um, Exactly. Uh, man, it was a movie I saw this year. I forget who was in it. I know. Um, but anyway, the quote in the movie was, people are desperate to feel good, sound smart, and be right. Um, That's another form of marketing that I kind of talk about in my book, tapping into the emotions, the emotions of wanting to be the one that's the smartest and always right and always looking good and looking cool and everybody. That's an emotion. Um, It's really dealing with your ego. But I'm not even going to go there. I see some of y'all eyes are kind of. Uh, losing me. <laughs> but also, um, I talked about TV programming. So the stuff you watch in uh, TV programming and so social media, does anybody know what an algorithm is? Excellent. So y'all y'all know some stuff. So TV programming and social algorithms are essentially the same thing. Everything that you click on your phone, every time you're on YouTube, um, it's a system that's tracking your algorithm to see how many times you click on it, uh, how long you're looking at it, and how many times a week you do it. They're tracking that stuff and they use that to market uh, products and services to you. So remember that when you get on your phone, have, has anyone ever gotten on their phone and been talking about me? I, I want a red popsicle. When you get on your phone, it's a red popsicle. But I'm just saying, does it come on your phone when you when you look at your device? And algorithms. It's just the algorithm. So it's nothing to be afraid of, just something to be aware of so you can know what people are presenting to you so you can make a good choice for yourself as a consumer. That's what that's about. So, uh, the problem. Yeah, look, look in the mirror, scream self love. Look in the mirror, scream self love. Yeah. Self love, kill your demons. Self love, heal your heart. Self love, give you confidence. The confidence that you need, huh? It kills you all your insecurities, huh? Self love.